Hey there. Today I'd like to answer a question that's been appearing with increasing regularity. It's appearing so often that I've become sure that clarity is needed. So I'd like to really embrace this opportunity. The question is, Martin, how do you manage to walk so many different paths at the same time? How do you combine all these different teachings from different places? I'd like to make absolutely clear that my path is and has always been completely based on the teachings of Franz Baden. I started his course in hermetic training uh, during my teenage years and have dedicated two hours every day ever since uh, to this great undertaking. This has been the greatest blessing in my life and the most rewarding of things. Now sometimes during this journey I found that a particular exercise or ability hasn't quite unfolded like I would expect it to. And when this happens, I make it a practice to seek out greater understanding and further experience of that exercise or ability. So this means that I will I'll read other traditions approaches to the same thing, but I'll also look for the greatest master of that particular ability or meditation that I can find. And this may mean going to a different country or different tradition. Then I find that just being in the presence of someone who's far better at what I'm trying to do is really beneficial. I can see the ability being used. I can pick up on the feel. I can find different approaches that work for different students. I can watch his own students and how they learn. And there's, there's often some form of transmission that takes place in these experiences, like there's a, a higher learning. And it's for this reason that though my training is always based on Franz Baden's course, sometimes you'll see me drawing from knowledge of the same exercise from other places. But my eye is always on the bullseye, like an archer looking at the target. Uh, I'm looking to gain that next ability uh, to, to be able to move forwards. This, I believe, is the, the best way to approach uh, a path, uh, to make sure that your core practice is consistent and with one uh, map of attainment, uh, but uh, to be open to learning uh, from other sources as to how you can achieve this, if needed. You may also see me take part in other undertakings or hobbies, which, though beneficial to the hermetic path, are not necessary, uh, but perhaps gently complementary. So I enjoy training in martial arts and I enjoy weightlifting and, and other physical activities. These are most certainly good for the body and can lead to some valuable lessons, but they're far more gentle in their effect when it comes to the uh, alchemical transformation that we are seeking. Likewise, there are many things I, I like uh, to do to keep inspired. One such thing is I find the, the rituals of Freemasonry uplifting and intriguing. But my involvement in Freemasonry should not be taken as a recommendation from a hermetic point of view. Freemasonry is a, a gentle, inspiring uh, society 
And the rituals and initiations they perform are comparable to the effect you may have from watching an opera or reading a really good uplifting novel and have none of the the pure focus and powerful evolutionary ability that Franz Barden's teachings contain. My name is Martin Folks and I hope that this video has brought a, a clear understanding of uh, my training and the um, source of my progress. Until next time, let's let every word, thought and action count.